Yo, welcome back to the house where we talk new celebrities and hot topics. Listen, I want to go ahead and talk about y'all's favorite housewife of Atlanta, Miss Kenya Moore Hair Care, and her soon-to-be ex-husband, Mr. Mark Daly, with the nose ring, right? Um, it's an interesting situation. Shout out to RadarOnline.com. They have this report and dug up some newly found documents of Mr. Mark Daly with the nose ring trying to find Kenya Moore uh, or demanding that she be found in contempt of violating this uh, custody case that they have in motion, right? And so listen, to give you guys a quick synopsis of the situation, they in the last few years have been involved in two cases. There's a divorce case and then there was a custody case. Before the two ever filed for a divorce, they decided that they wanted to settle the custody battle for Brooklyn Daily first, right? Now, remember, I think it was 2020, the Bolo season where Kenya Moore was trying to slut shame Portia Williams. And I think that was Drew Sedora's first season, if I'm not mistaken. And Latoya accused her of having the pet on her head and all of those things, right? So during that season, you guys, um, I don't believe I could be wrong. I think I'm getting the season right. But during that season, um, I don't think Brooklyn Daly was illegally allowed to be on camera to appear in that season due to the pending custody battle. Right. Mr. Mark Daly with the nose ring did not want his daughter appearing on to the Bravo TV networks with Portia, Drew Sedora, Fallon Gobadia, Latoya Ali and the rest of the girls. OK. Listen. Listen, listen, listen. So in conclusion of that custody battle, Kenya kind of won, in my opinion. Um, she was able to basically have primary custody. Mark was granted visitation rights. Um, and Kenya has to grant him like daily communications through telephone or video, FaceTime or a phone call. Um, he was granted that. She was granted primary custody and she was also granted the right to have Miss Brooklyn Daly appear onto the Real Housewives of Atlanta. She also was granted the right to have Brooklyn Daly be a part of any sort of other economic opportunities as long as Brooklyn Daly was not in the face of danger and as long as whatever she was involved with was age appropriate. Okay. So now in this newly filed motion, Mark wants or is demanding the judge find Miss Kenya Moore hair care and contempt of that custody case because he says that on the latest season of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, season 15, that Kenya Moore had the daughter Brooklyn Daly in the face of danger when Miss Marlo Hampton went up there to the hotel room in Mobile, Birmingham, Huntsville, Alabama, and basically was trying to knock down that damn door. And according to Kenya, it woke up and scared Miss Brooklyn Daly and she started crying and it was a whole fiasco. Mark said, yeah, I've been binging the housewives. I've been watching every Sunday night. I know a lot of people haven't because the ratings are down to the ground on this little TV show. But I, for one, have been binging or not binging, been tuning in week after week after week, Sunday night at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time on Bravo. And on one of the episodes, I saw Marlo Hampton trying to, you know, break down that damn wall while my daughter was in there. And it's Kenya's fault because Kenya had my daughter in that situation. Mm. OK, but not only is he claiming that, you know, um, Kenya had the daughter in that, you know, dangerous situation. He's also claiming that Brooklyn Daly has been a part of other economic opportunities that he was not aware of so a part of their custody agreement is that she can be on the show and she can be you know in these sponsored instagram posts and other little commercials and stuff like that as long as mark daly knows about it right kenya has to let mark daly know that kenya or that brooklyn his daughter is going to be a part of these things and so one thing that he's telling the judge is that Miss Thang, right, um, is doing brand deals and sponsorships onto the Instagram. So excuse my uh, 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 picture, right? I normally don't like to have kids up onto the screen, but listen, this is a, you know, a, a rare case because the story directly involves the child. And so, 
Yes. They were doing a frozen, it looked like an at-home frozen pizza, right? That she had like some sort of brand deal sponsorship or whatever onto the Instagrams and social medias. And Mark Daly is saying in these newly filed uh, papers that uh, it's a part of our agreement that she needs to let me know that my daughter is going to be a part of working with these brands. And allegedly, Kenya ain't do that. Kenya did not let the father know that she, Brooklyn, was going to be a part of that. And I really don't like that picture of Kenya because that's not Kenya's face. Kenya, that's not your face. Okay, that's a robot. That's AI. That's face to him. But that's. That's that's not Kenya. Okay. And then y'all to top it all off. To top it all off. I'm gonna read this verbatim onto the radaronline.com. Shout out to them for this story. Um, listen, it says further, he said that the court order stated that Mark shall be allowed daily telephonic and or video visitation with the minor child. Mark said he repeatedly requests calls and FaceTimes with Brooklyn and provides available times, but claims Kenya fails to respond. He said he's only talked to Brooklyn twice in June and accused Kenya of refusing to cooperate with in-person visits. Listen, I thought this was kind of juicy because usually when we hear stuff about this divorce and the custody between Mark and Kenya Moore and stuff like that, the information is really vague and it's left us um, trying to like, you know, connect the dots and try to interpret what the hell these two got going on. But I feel like this report is very detailed, right? And so listen, I don't know if Mark is stretching the truth. I don't know if he's spinning the narrative. I don't know if he's lying about this. But let's assume, let's assume that what he's saying is the truth. There are Three sides to every story, his side, Kenya's side, and then you have the truth. But let's assume that his side is the truth. If this is the truth, and I hate to agree with this man because I don't like Mr. Nose Ring, but if this is the truth, he has some valid points. If he's supposed to be granted daily telephonic and video communication with his daughter, why is that not happening? If you're supposed to tell him when Brooklyn Daily has an Instagram sponsorship brand deal, why isn't that being communicated? If you're supposed to protect Brooklyn Daily from the likes of Miss Marlo Hampton and her antics, why are you bringing her on to the trips? I mean, the fans, we've been saying that. Now, listen, these are just questions um, just based off of the report. So y'all definitely got to let me know how y'all feel about the entire situation. I hope they can work this out because y'all, this is the longest drawn out divorce of all of Housewives history. It is a whole hot damn mess. Thank you for watching. Let me know how y'all feel in the comments down below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to create a great day.